We do have team coverage today at noon because many communities along the Connecticut River are facing those flooding concerns. Channel 3 is Jennifer Lee is live at Ferry Park in Rocky Hill with more on that. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Carrie. Yeah, we brought Chevy, the, the Chevy weather tracker here to Ferry Park in Rocky Hill. And check this out. The parking lot is blocked off. It is submerged underwater, at least three to three and a half feet of water. And look over that way by the boat launch. The handicap signs barely making a peep out of that water. And we're told those signs are at least four to five feet tall. And now we're just going to swing over this way to show you other things that we're seeing along here with the flooding. That is a picnic bench. The seats are underwater. Water and we're only seeing the tabletop. And if you look further out, we're only seeing the hair of a metal bench. So Ferry Park, the parking lot is submerged. Now, obviously this is raising some safety concerns. We talked with the deputy chief of Rocky Hill Fire who is urging everyone to stay out of the water. It's a nice day out here right now, but stay out of the water. It's really important. It will take you away very quickly. Just stay out of the water. And when the rain comes tonight and the, the water actually becomes turbulent, don't drive into it. You know, whatever you do, if you see flood water, just stay out of it. And just a few minutes ago, we did see a pet owner fl playing fetch with her dog, and the dog was jumping in the water. And the deputy fire chief says that is also very dangerous. So asking everyone and their pets to stay out of any flooded parking lots like this one here at Ferry Park. And with Chevy Weather Tracker 2, we are going to be going up and down the Connecticut River today and bring you other areas where they're seeing some of this flooding. Um, we're going to bring you those stories tonight starting at 5. We're live in Rocky Hill, Jennifer Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Alrighty, thank you, Jennifer. And to stay ahead of this weekend's wet weather, have the Channel 3 app handy. Make sure you turn on those notifications. You'll find an in-depth technical discussion on the weather day by day. And also you'll be able to keep an eye on the rain with the state's only live Doppler in the palm of your hand. And you'll be able to stay ahead on any issues with the roads if you're traveling somewhere with our traffic alerts and maps.